Hey again, everybody. It is cold and windy in Dell, Utah. So I'm once again inside the warmth and comfort of the Mobile Command Center. And I chose this funky background because, oh, the feedback. The feedback I, I heard over the internet and around the world because of my statement that said being his business is about making money and if you want to get a friend buy a dog <laughs> i i love i love the people who just don't get it no context no connection to what actually goes on in the real world just the crap that they've heard mostly from internet wannabe gurus who want to repeat all of the same stuff it's it's so easy to say this stuff I guess when you're not making any money or if you don't expect to make any money but it's mind-boggling to me that people listen to it and I believe that the problem is people go through their whole lives they learn stuff they do stuff and they make it work but all of a sudden when they get into the whole making money online and being in business they hear you've got to have a coach, you've got to get a mentor, and they will tell you what to do. And they find these people and they blindly follow the bullshit that they tell them. They don't know any better, but in the ba at first they're thinking, well, I, I know what I'm doing. And they try some stuff and they're working on it. And then someone says, no, you got to do this and you got to get a mentor. And all that thinking for themselves goes right out the freaking window and they end up following people who don't know what they're doing. They call it the blind leading the blind leading the blind. Where these cliches and untested, unproven marketing methods are put out and people just follow them. And it's worse than that even because everyone wants to know what works right now. And everybody, everybody... And their brother will tell you, oh, you got to do video. I'm doing video because I like it. People tell me that I'm good at it. You might think I suck, but I'm sure there's there's people all over the spectrum. And it's okay. I do it because it's something I want to do. But let's say you're a writer. You write. I write. And someone says, oh, no, you got to do video. Don't write. Nobody reads your blog posts and this and that. Um, no not true people still read stuff whenever people stop reading that's when writing stuff down won't work and by the way if you're going to do a video don't you have to have an idea of what you're going to say and you might want to write that down on paper and if you write a blog post that's really killer or an article or something and you get that idea in your head and then you turn on the camera and you start talking about that idea you don't have to read it but you're just talking about the same thing it's all the same you can do it on a podcast, you can do it on a video, you can do it writing. What's working now is one of the best ways to get the people who are, they're, they're junkies for making money stuff. And I think it might be a phase that everybody goes through. I know I certainly went through a phase much like it where I was buying everything, trying to learn everything. And as I went along, I discovered the truth, which is it's you that's going to make things work. And it doesn't matter what media you use to make it work, because there are movie stars. There are TV stars. There are people that are stars on Broadway. There's Taylor Swift and Madonna and Britney Spears. They all sing. And there's other bands like Iron Maiden and Dokken and all those guys. They do different things. They use their particular talents and the media of their choice to get their message across to a huge number of people. And imagine if someone told Taylor Swift, singing doesn't work anymore, Taylor. Now you've got to make movies. Actually, she's been in a movie. She was in The, the Giver, if I remember correctly. But in, the point is, you've got to do this stuff and you're doing it to make money. And... It doesn't matter what anyone says about what works and what doesn't work. What matters is you taking your unique gifts, your personality, your style, and putting, putting it into what you are doing. And then you're providing that to other people. And there are enough people out there who will buy your stuff that will make a difference, a huge difference in your life, because you're making a difference in theirs. 
keep that in mind. Don't just blindly follow whatever's out there. And whatever you do, do it at a profit. <laughs> That's what I got for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.